Hi everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to get and use the Roku Remote app for your Android phone or iOS device. Coming up next on Your6 Studios. Now grab your Android or Apple phone and go over to the Play Store or Apple Store. And here we're going to want to type in Roku into the search bar. Let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm typing in Roku and go ahead and install this application onto your phone. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and select open. And you can actually use some advanced features on this application. Now, when you are in the application, just scroll down on the top menu here and make sure your Wi-Fi is enabled and you're connected to your home network. And make sure your Roku device is connected to the Wi-Fi also. Otherwise, this application won't be able to connect with your Roku. But like I stated, there are some more advanced features on this app. As you can see, you can go to the channel selection here. And these are all the channels that are on your Roku device. And you can go to the channel store. However, you will need to sign in with an email address. But some of the cool things about this is I can just go ahead and select an application like YouTube and it will automatically launch YouTube onto my device. And I'll have the remote where I can go ahead and control my Roku device from there on out. So I can go up, down, left, right, or I can even go back to the home menu by pressing home. And on the remote, you can see there's multiple different options. Like there's a voice function on the top right. And I can go ahead and say or type in a movie from here. Also on the top, there are a setting slider right here where I can go ahead and select that. And you can change the different remote types from a traditional remote to more of a swipe remote. And your devices from private listening, if you want to uh, select that, you will stream your audio through your mobile device so you can actually hear the audio that's coming out of your phone instead of your TV. And here you can switch your Roku device if you have something connected that you don't want selected. You can go ahead and change it from this menu. And it's going to search for devices available on your Wi-Fi network. And the most convenient thing on here, I believe, is the keyboard. If I go down to the search section and go over, I can go ahead and type in anything I want with the keyboard on my phone right now. So let's go ahead and type in maybe John Wick. See if I can find that on here and press done. And John Wick, the movie, will pop up here. I can go ahead and move over to the right and select John Wick. And I can see different renting options on here for the movie. So the keyboard makes everything a lot easier. And this is great if you accidentally lost your remote. Your remote is broken at the time. You can just take your phone out and use this application until you get a replacement remote. And on the bottom right is the headphone icon. You can go ahead and select that for private listening at any point in time. And this will automatically switch the headphones over to your cell phone. And another cool thing about this application is if I go to the photo section on the bottom, I can go ahead and select an image that's on my phone, like this one here where I'm pointing at my TV. Uh, this was a thumbnail for one of my videos I made. I can go ahead and select this and put this on my big screen TV. And that's kind of cool. You can do that with your photos. Uh, you can do it with your music, your videos, and your screensavers. So let's go ahead and select one of my videos right here. And this is a, a video of a, what is this, an otter that was looking at me when I went over to the zoo. And uh, depending on your internet connection, um, the video might be a little bit less than ideal. The resolution may be a little bit lower and might go in and out. However, you can play videos on your phone just at a touch of a button uh, using your Roku as a streaming device. So go ahead and get the Roku remote app for your Android or Apple phone. It's useful and it's completely free. And there's some advanced features on this application that you may want to use. And this will help you take full control of your Roku device. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And check out some of the other videos coming up next on your six studios.